Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Not Fashion Hub, the best fashion channel in the world. So today we are going to learn how to cut an A-shaped skirt. Cutting an A-shaped skirt is very very simple and today within 5 minutes we are going to learn how to cut an A-shaped skirt. So if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please hit the subscribe button and turn your notification bell on so that whenever I drop my videos you will be notified so for our H-shaped skirt we'll be using this measurement we'll be using the waist of 20 28 hip of 34 and skirt length of 20 of 27 skirt length of 27 now with these three basic measurements any other measurement we are using is going to be removed from these three measurements but these are the basic measurements for cutting a skirt now let us start so to cut our a shape skirt we are going to fold, <coughs> first of all, fold our fabric into two. And we are going to do this considering the hip measurement. Because the hip measurement, the hip measurement is the biggest measurement on our fabric. So we are going to be folding our fabric into two considering the hip measurement. So the hip measurement here is 34. So it will divide 34 into 4 and when we are cutting a skirt we divide the waist measurement we divide it by 4 we divide hip measurement by 4 skirt length we divide by 0 all right and if we divide 28 by 4 we should be having 7 if you divide 34 by 4 we should be having this is 17 this is 8 and a half we having eight and a half and this one you're not dividing so it will still remain so which means we're using seven for our waist eight and a half for our hip so our hip which is eight and a half okay we have eight and a half here but let's take note this is going to be a flay skirt an a shape skirt is a skirt that flays down you understand so for that reason but we increase our fold in a little now you you are you increase this fold in ideally we're using eight and a half this is eight and a half here but we're increasing it to ten because we want um, to have an allowance for us to flay the skirt down you can increase it to 11 to 12 however it is based on how wide you want your skirt to flay at the end point that is how much you will you will um, that is how much we increase from at the hip you know so first of all let's take our waist measurement so let's start our measurement from this point our waist measurement is seven so we're measuring seven from the end point here measure from here to here this is seven and we'll add one inch seam allowance we'll add one and a half the one inch goes to that allowance the half inch goes to seam allowance the next thing we are going to do is to locate our hip point and how do you locate your hip point you measure seven inches from the waist to locate your hip point but for this measurement it's quite a small measurement so we're not going to be using the seven we'll be using six we're not going to use eight we use six and a half to locate our hip ideally the measurement for locating hip is eight inches from the waist but this is a small measurement all right that's why i'm using six and a half but it is eight not six and a half so if you are working for a full big measurement this is a small measurement working for a full measurement use the eight not six and a half hope that is taking so this is the hip area I will say our hip is what 
our heat is is um is 34 divided by 4 you have eight and a half so this is eight and a half eight and a half plus um half inch or one inch sewing allowance that is allowance there now the next thing is for us to to get our flay point you know, this is an a-shape skirt and an a-shape skirt fits at the knee and flays so for us to get our flay point it simply means we simply divide the length of the skirt into two and if we divide 27 by 2 we'll be having 13 and a half and this is 13 and a half this is 13 and a half so the next thing is for us to to know to get our fitting so how are we going to get our fitting here how to get your fitting simply you minus three inches or four inches from the hip measurement depending on how curvy the person is so in this case we're going to minus four inches from the hip measurement and our hip is what our hip is 34 all right so if you minus four inches from 34 you are having 30 okay and if you divide 30 by 4 because fitting also is divided by 4 you'll be having what 7 point what 7.5 all right so it means at the fitting here we are still going to use 7 7.5 let's make this clear this is our fitting this is our hip line all right so this is 7.5 plus 1 inch or 3 quarter inch seam allowance. I don't like giving much seam allowance. Alright. So the next thing now is for us to join the points together. Cutting an A-shape skirt is very, very simple. It doesn't require much. Okay. So joining our points together, it means... We are going to join the actual measurements and then the allowances. So this is our actual measurement. You see, it's our actual measurement. And then these are the allowances. But I'm going to show us something important. I want us to take note of. If you look this is a bit sharp at this point so what we need to do is to make it what curvy when we are cutting don't make it sharp like this you blend it when you are cutting because no human being has this kind of sharp hip all right so you make sure you blend it when cutting it's very very important if you don't when you are done you will not like the shape you will see at that point so always ensure to blend it the next thing i'm going to do is now to locate the full length of our skirt and we say the full length of our skirt is what is 27 this is 27 now we can see that our we are having 27 here all right we can leave this like this but still when we make this skirt we'll have 27 in length because when we join our waist the waist will come with additional one and a half inch all right so that will still give us our 27 back but let's still make use of this half inch so this will be using 27 and a half this half will serve as the hemming allowance so this now becomes our skirt length and this half inch remaining here becomes our hemming allowance so we we'll join this point to this point and then this point to that point and we see that our A shape skate is out this is the fitting this is the hip and this is the waist all right so cutting an A shape skate is as simple as this so if you are liking this video if it's making sense please hit the like button and if you are yet to subscribe please hit the subscribe button and turn your notification bell on 
I would really, really appreciate you if you do that. So we are done with cutting our our front piece. We can now move to cutting the back piece of our A shirt skirt. So cutting the back piece also is quite simple. It doesn't require much. Okay. Cutting the back piece is also very very simple it doesn't require much at all so for us to cut our back piece we'll simply carry the front piece and keep on the on the piece for our back piece giving an allowance of one and a half inch or two inches for zip all right so for our back piece we still fold our fabric into two giving an allowance here giving an allowance here of either one inch or one and a half inch for for zip you see here i'm giving one and a half one and a half is okay too much allowance i don't like it all right too much allowance makes your clothes to struggle to have shape. So I don't really like that. So I'm going to extend. I'm going to extend these lines. This is our hip line. This is our hip line. This is our fitting. All right. So from the waist down to the hip line, we allow this one and a half inch allowance to be. This is for zip. This is zip allowance, right? But from here down, we are going to mark just half inch at this point. You see, just half inch, just half inch here. Then we will curve this into that half inch. All right, we curve this into that half inch, and the shape from here to here it depends on what you want. You can leave it straight or you can give it a little flay here so it's actually your choice but i want to leave mine straight you don't want to leave it straight you can still make it a little you know flay at the back here you know actually that is your choice you know it's your choice so you can see that cutting an A-shaped skirt is quite very, very simple. Uh, something that doesn't have to take you much time to do. Within a space of one or two minutes, you are done with your six pieces skirt. Like I said, if this video is making sense, please, I would, I would appreciate if you will hit the, if you will hit the like button. And if you are yet to subscribe, you would subscribe and turn the notification bell on <clears throat> you can leave a comment in the comment section and then let me know if my videos are helping or not so like i said i'm going to use let me just use this play one it's a choice you can choose to leave your straight or you can play it you see so our skirt is now ready you see as simple and straightforward as this so like i said before if this video made sense if you like it if you enjoy it please hit the subscribe button and turn your notification bell on because i'll bring in much more interesting videos your way thank you so much thanks for watching welcome to now fashion hub the best fashion channel in the world thank you